fellow viewers, welcome once again to my Gardenscape. Today we're going to discuss a little bit about my collection of my garden for this year's 2020. To start with, I have a lemon balm. Ignore the sign, it's not a milkweed. And a red cedar, eastern red cedar, is right next to it, which can grow up to 56 feet. What's it doing in my garden? Well, we're tree huggers, so my family and I, and we love it here. The next one is a beautiful pink hydrangea, which is one of the year's new addition. It's fun fact, it was first discovered in Japan, and it's moderately toxic. Um, it forms flowers in clusters from the tips of the shoots formed from the previous year. And its flowers are pink because of the alkaline soil, and the soil is strongly acidic, the flowers turn blue. Then you have here cold loving plants, butter, crunch, lettuce, some mixed greens, and kohlrabi. Uh, kohlrabi, what is it? Fun fact it's a bulbous veggie with two layers of stiff leaves like cabbage and broccoli. And it's also called a German turnip. Its bulb, stems, and leaves are edible. This is my first time growing it, so it'll be interesting to find out what it tastes like. You can see more of the greens. And here is a blueberry. Um, this is a blueberry bush that I had bought last year. It's doing well. It's coming back again this year coming alive and you can see new leaves are forming on the branches I actually have two blueberry bushes I haven't really transplanted them to the ground um, I don't want to do that at the moment and here is the Douglas fir an evergreen conifer native to North America um, fun fact, it was named after a Scottish botanist, David Douglas. And here is a new bush that bought, a blackberry bush. It has really good leaves and growth, so I had bought it and thought it might be a nice addition to my garden. It's called the Baby Cake Blackberry, and this is another blueberry bush that I had bought last year um, as you can see my trees or my fruit trees have the white paint on the bottom to prevent insects from destroying or invading my trees especially the fruits um, here we have the tomatoes on the other side of the garden and start out with the celebrity slicer tomato they're very easy to grow, that's why I grow it every year. Then we have the mixed greens again, right there. And this is the Swiss chard. Swiss chard is um, new to me as well. I thought I might try it this year and see how it tastes like. Uh, fun fact with Swiss chard is a member of the beet family and it has vitamin K and A and can be eaten raw or uncooked. Do you see the strawberries left over from three years ago? They keep coming back, which I'm glad. I'm very happy with that. That is my persimmon tree. And this is the other persimmon tree that I've had for a couple of years now. And over here is the black bamboo. We, we tried growing it. Um, it's still alive. Um, we're hoping it will continue to grow. Over here are snow snap peas. Sugar snap peas, sorry. And sugar snap peas are vines. So I planted them in the old tomato pot. And I will provide more support with bamboo sticks if needed. And here are these strawberries on the other container with the strawberries. Plants, as you can see, they continue to grow. I'm keeping them. And 
Okay, you can see the trees have for anybody the pe this is the peach tree with pink flowers that has uh but it but I haven't seen any bumblebees at the moment. So I had to manually pollinate them with a little brush. And you can see here the yellow tape, it's flagging tape with tangled foot to keep ants from invading my tree and eating all my fruits like last year. And you can see more tomatoes. That's the celebrity slicer tomato I showed earlier. Um, love tomatoes. And here are celeries. And celeries uh, are new to my garden as well. And fun fact, it's a good source of vitamin K and A, folate, and fiber, and it's high water content. Right back there are the evergreen trees. Oh, that's my other, that's my celery there. Another celery. And at the back are the evergreen trees. First one is the Dawn Redwood which is a deciduous conifer, so it sheds its leaf every year. Fun fact, this particular tree existed since the late Cretaceous period. Uh, white spruce, the blue spruce is the next evergreen, and the white spruce is right next to it. White spruce is a coniferous evergreen. And this one's Anis hyssop, which is a member of the mint family, and it's a perennial plant native to North America, Canada, and Asia. And at the end here you see the sugar snap peas. The other ones I had put there, biotrellis. And lastly is another evergreen. Hopefully it'll come back. Not looking good at the moment. So there you have it. Um, this is my garden for this year. 2020. I hope things work out better this year. Hope to God. And um, so there. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until then.